guys. What's going on everybody? Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Cousin Curtis. Got another episode for you here. This weekend I had an epic road trip. I'm going to tell you all about it, but before we go any further, are you ready? Hit it! So this weekend was a long weekend. It was a total of five days to play three different shows, one in Scottsdale, one in Flagstaff, and one in Fort Collins. And in order to get to all these places, I drove a total of 1,700 miles, which equates to about 30 hours of actual driving time. As soon as I got back last night from Fort Collins, I was absolutely exhausted, and Kelly looks at me and she goes, hmm, was it worth it? And I almost said no, but yes it was. And it was strictly for the scenery alone. The shows were cool and all, but it's just a lot of travel for three different shows. I still had a good time, but the scenery was incredible. Oh my God, did you see that drone shot at the beginning of this vlog? I'm gonna get more in there for you as we go. Don't worry about it. Let's break this down day by day, shall we? Day one, the trip from Denver to Moab. I left late, so that meant that I arrived late to Moab. I really didn't get to do much. I mean, I grabbed a bite to eat. Little note about that, it was incredible. Grass fed buffalo meatloaf served over gourmet mac and cheese topped with smoked jalapenos and duck bacon. Went to sleep after that, slept great, woke up, hit the road really early so I had as much time as possible to spend in Monument Valley, flying the drone, taking photos and videos, etc, etc. I'm pretty sure I know what these are. selling these on the road immediately. Wow! Day two was from Moab through Monument Valley all the way to Phoenix, and that was a really long day of driving, and it was also extremely windy. You hear that? The wind is blowing so hard, it's separating my door up here. <laughs> Hang in there, Atlas. 6.9 miles per gallon. Monument Valley was still unbelievably beautiful, and I can't wait to go back and spend more time, spend a couple of days hiking around that area, camping, etc., etc. Also, I don't know if you guys are Westworld fans, but Westworld came out. Boom! Some of their opening shots in the Westworld intro takes place in Monument Valley, so that was cool to be there and see all those. Day three, I met up with some good friends, Gail and Andy, and we got up right and early and we went for a nice hike. Something interesting happened there. I almost lost this GoPro. I did something stupid. I left my GoPro at the top of this mountain. So what happened was I went up to the top of the mountain, set this down on a rock, and I left the GoPro on the rock, taking a time lapse. We turned around, we went all the way back down the mountain, we got in the car, drove all the way back to the house, and then I opened up my backpack. Oh. I need a tether for this thing. Get back in the car, drive back to the mountain, sprint as much as I can up the mountain. I almost run straight into a swarm of bees. Just turned the corner a little bit ago and ran into a swarm of bees. Bees! Bees! Bees everywhere! Is that a thing, Arizona? Hundreds of bees. What do I do? All right, here we go. Started running again, got to the top. I crest over where I left the drone on top of a rock and it's gone. I stand on the rock where I set the GoPro originally and I just hang my head in shame. And lo and behold, there it is. It had fallen off the rock, maybe five feet down, and landed. It's still recording. <laughs> Got it back, super pumped about that. Day four, Flagstaff to Buena Vista, it was a, like, it was a haul, and I did everything I could to stop and you know take some photos and pictures and fly the drone, but I just had that feeling behind me like, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. If I didn't make it all the way to Buena Vista, that just meant that I had that much longer of a drive Sunday morning to get to Fort Collins to play early afternoon. Made it all the way to Buena Vista, stayed at the KOA, I arrived late, took off early, put my money in an envelope and slid it underneath the door. Real quick, and then I'm going to sleep. Uh, today was a super long day. I drove from Flagstaff all the way to Buena Vista. That means that tomorrow, in order to get to Fort Collins on time, I'll have to leave here about like eight. Yeah, eight, maybe 8.30 at the latest, but that's, that's it. I'm gonna go to bed and see you guys in the morning. Yay! <laughs> Something cool that I was able to do on the way from Flagstaff to Buena Vista was I routed myself through Four Corners and I stopped and I got some fun footage there of just 
being a goofball and hanging out where Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico all touch. Funny thing though, they have a sign posted right before you get to where the four corners of the states meet and the sign says, limit three photos per person. I was like, what's the point? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it didn't say anything about video footage, so I didn't take a single photo. <laughs> Day five, super short day in the van, which was great. Got from Buena Vista to Fort Collins, no problems whatsoever. And when I got there, I was completely and utterly surprised. So here's this event called Operation Bear Hug. And Operation Bear Hug is a suicide awareness program put on by the Veterans Association of Colorado State University. It's incredible, it is absolutely incredible. And last year was the first year that it happened. It had everything together, like there were vendors there, there was community involvement. It's an obstacle course race where a lot of different events take place and it's all part of a team so you can't do it on your own and then this year I showed up and it was even bigger and better they had a legit like 16 foot by 24 foot stage on stilts they had a sound system that was incredible they had more vendors more community involvement they had more sponsors more volunteers the really unexpected part for me was I went into it thinking that I was the only musician for the afternoon turns out the Flowbots were there the Flowbots played an hour-long set, and then I played. So I don't know if you can technically say that I headlined for the Flowbots. Pretty sure they had to leave to catch a flight to go play another show. So that's a little different. <laughs> Can't wait for future Operation Bear Hugs for Colorado State University. Hope that I can continue to be a part of it in some fashion. Crazy five days, a lot of driving, just getting the tip of the iceberg for some of these places that I can't wait to come back to and spend more quality time there. If you like this video, click that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. I just got here. This is my setup, my illustrious setup. Uh, I think the best part, the crowning jewel of the inside is hanging out with these guys. What's up, guys?